Welcome back, everybody. Lasline back in Surviving the Ark down in Aberration. <clears throat> so today, we are going to venture out and leave our little hut here. So I have been uh, breeding our two bulldogs overnight, and we came up with this little this little guy. So we're going to use him as our, our main bulldog. We'll keep these two in... I want five of those in uh, orbs. Come here, little guy. I guess that was the girl. This is the guy. We've been making some narcotics. As you can see in my inventory, I made some primitive crossbows and I updated to um, metal overnight. So the first thing that I want to do is I want to find, there is that, ooh, that was a leg spike, that tech parasaur, which is right there. I think he was, yeah, 138. Oh, I guess I need to make some trank arrows, don't I? Um, we're going to get him, get him set up, and we will use him to travel because I didn't see if it was a him or a her. Um, Parasaurs just travel a lot better, a lot faster, and they have that uh, roar to scare off raptors and things like that. And as we delve deeper into the Ark, it's going to get more and more dangerous. So something that we can scare off predators would be a good idea. Was that the one over there? Did he seriously just run all the way? Where did he go? Here, Mr. Parasaur. Are these stegos any good? Wouldn't mind a stego. 45. Poop. 30. 10. Yeah, I don't know where that tech parasaur went. He just kind of disappeared. 25. 40. Hmm. Did he fall through the map? Or did he come around this corner and I didn't see him? There he is. And it is a him. Oh, we got a raptor over there. Two of them. I hope they fight that Parasaur there and we'll have a bad day. Uh, another Ovis. Okay, so let's get this guy all wrapped up. Get him knocked out. We might have to tame one of those raptors if they come over here. But it wouldn't be bad to have something with a, cu with a couple teeth as well for our travels. I didn't see what levels they were. They were small, if anything. They'll go over there and fight that stego. He'll be dead in no time. I forgot to bring um, berries. Let's run and grab those. So yeah, that's the plan today. Um, we'll venture a little bit farther out into the, the more dangerous areas of the, the aberration. There's a spot that I've seen before that I want to build. Let me take those. That I want to build a base. Um, it's close to the blue zone, so we want to stay there. And it's close to the ramp down to the blue zone, so we have somewhere that we can get in and out easy enough. Uh, no guarantee we're going to make it without losing our Parasaur or anything else, but we will try. Para. Get one of those. Yeah, here we are. They're, they're fighting that Stego. They're dead. Even if that both Raptors go to help them, there's no way. Oh, it doesn't. Yeah. That one's dead. And that level 60's only got 600 health. He's toast. Little bulb dog. Nice and nice colors. So yeah, we're going to get a saddle on this guy. We're going to get him... Um, gather a bunch of our stuff up. Get it in him. We'll keep this base up here as a... As a backup. In case something bad happens. And then we will uh, 
we'll bring you back when we're ready to start heading down to the uh, more to the water. So we'll see you then. Okay, so I think we have a change of plans here. We have a 108 Tech Stego, and I think I have enough. I think I have enough uh, narcotics. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to run back to the base. Our Tech Parasaur is up. We'll get him back to the base. I think I'm going to grab that Stego. They should be big enough that I can't get pulled off by raptors. Which is the whole point of this Parasaur. But we will uh, see if we can't get, can't get that Stego knocked out. And use it as a traveling companion instead. Let's quickly run back to the base here. Uh, we might have to make some more some more arrows. Yeah, I'd like to live closer to the water. Um, let's go here. Can we make 50 more of those? Yes, we can. And our pestle should be done good. So we're going to need more Mijo. Do we have any narco? We got narco. We got mushrooms. Okay, so we'll use this guy to get over there. Then we'll put him in a soul ball. So I think I'm just going to get up on that ridge where I was and shoot down on it. And if it uh, can get up there, I'll jump across to the other one and shoot down on it. We should probably build a Apple guns. What is going on? Oh yeah, you won't let me do that while I'm on it, I know. They will come in super handy. Oop, can't make it yet. Alright, well. We'll do what we can then. There is that 135 Paraceratherium. But it's got 12k torpor. I don't think we have enough stuff to deal with that. Good old gacha claws. We can't deal with him. Okay, Mr. Parasaur. I'm going to put you in one of these. So that you don't get killed. I don't want you uh, joining the fight. And getting nuked by this. Okay. Get a shot in on him. Let's make some more tranks. I wouldn't mind you getting stuck over there. Except I'm not hitting him. Come on. I guess we'll have to lure him around. It's a him, right? Not gacha. Come here. Through the bushes. Oh, why can't I get up there now? Oh, oh he can hit me up there. And I'm dead. Oh. Run, you... Take this guy around. Try to get him stuck somewhere. I wouldn't mind just this here. Until he comes up over the hill at me. Come here, come here. There he is. I'll try and jump across. Oh, I didn't make it. I didn't get myself killed. He is 1k too already. It's 
I don't want to hit him in his frills. Because it does a lot less damage. Where are you? Where are you? Are you running away? There's a shot on his head. Get stuck right there. I'm good with that. Oh, thanks, Mike. You can't climb up here, can you? Show me that head. Oh, I just fell off. Jesus. Stay right there until you get start torpor running. Oh, you want to play some more? This reload timer is going to get me killed. <laughs> get up there. Oh, looks like he's torpor running. Get stuck. I don't want to aggro the Diplo. I don't want him to run into anything dangerous either. A little bit more. If you want to run right to my base, I would not argue with you. Nice thing is the the dinos don't recognize the tech dinos as their brethren, so they don't defend them. How many arrows we got left? 69. This is a nice spot to be. Oh, missed him. Don't have enough arrows that I can waste them. The hell is that? Do you see that hanging from the roof over there? Okay, just go down. We're going to be great friends if you just take a nap. Jump up there. I would love you to just go to sleep right up here on this ridge. Couple more arrows. Uh, a nice headshot would be good. Down you go. Hello. Okay. Let's get those in you. I'm gonna hammer some some narcotic mushrooms into you. Perfect. Okay. Let's get some food into us. Get some more water. Yeah, I thought that was going to go badly when he knocked me off the ledge and sent me flying. Um, I think we have to make a stego saddle in here. Oh, no, that's Dunkley. Stego saddle. Oh, it's not that bad to make either. Very nice. And they have a ton of weight. It will be a good transport. What level is that little guy over there? Oh. Just on a taming taming spree here. Crossbow's still good. It's a 130. Should I just take the 95 or should I go after the 130? Um... make a bunch more arrows you know the 95 will do the trick and it won't cost me everything to knock them out what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna switch these around I'm gonna put that kind of arrow in you as for defense and that into you Let me get this one reloaded what level are you over there 15 Pull her. It is a her, right? Yeah. Pull her up over here. While we're waiting for our stego to tame up over there. Still got lots of torpor. Come on, little girl. 
Yeah, like I said, that 130 would be really nice, but it's just... I can't justify wasting all my, my arrows on it. And it's just a doty. Like, it's just going to be a good... Something to get stone with. So it's not not needed to be the best I know. Where the stego will be our transport dino, so we need oh something to fight with. Ouch. Why you gotta do me like that? Oh, I miss my weapons from the island already. This primitive stuff is for the birds. But that's the whole idea. Until we get to uh Extinction, then we'll bring all of our oh legs bike all of our stuff over from the island to extinction and we'll start with a ton of gear over there. Then we'll keep it for us with us for the next uh, couple expansions. I'm kinda looking forward to getting back into extinction and doing the the big bosses. And then getting into um Genesis 1. I haven't done a lot of those missions, so it should be fun. And I know there are some of the missions that are almost impossible to do solo. Oh, I want that. Gimme. But, we'll do our best. And we won't, we're not going to go after the Alpha. Um, the Alpha missions in, in the first Genesis. I know that you can't do a bunch of those. So you you have to cheat to get them done. So we just won't even won't even bother. Come on. I shouldn't need another arrow. Go down. There we go. There you go. You can have... Did I give you all of the... Piggy? You don't need all of those. How's your torpor? Uh, going down slowly here. Take a little bit more of these. And then I'll pump the rest into you. There we go. Alright. Who's that? <laughs> that looks exactly like our more our more moss jobs. Wording is hard today. So let's get down here. We'll repair our stuff. And I will bring you back if something nasty arrives. Or when our two little teams are, are done being raised up. I'll see you then. Alright. Mr. Stego here has joined us. Uh, what do you got for stats? Two. Not bad. Not bad. Good, good. So the Stegos have, I think it's three different um, abilities here. Is it C that changes it? So heavy plate uh, prevents player dismount. That's exactly what we want. Sharpened plate. So the, I think it, yeah, the sharpened plate allows it to harvest, um, harvest uh, berries and stuff. The hardened plate allows it to harvest trees and things. And then the heavy plate, I'm not sure what it allows it to do. But it keeps me from getting dismounted. Which is exactly what I'm looking for. We're going to get lots of health on this guy. Our little Dodie is... Um, she should be just about tamed here. Uh, 74%. We got a saddle made for her too. We'll get that tossed on her here once she wakes up. And then we'll gather our stuff and head out. So yeah, like I said, we're going to probably leave this base as is. We'll leave our bed here and everything so if something really terrible happens, like we get a, a um, what are they called? A basilisk spawns in and destroys everything. We at least have this backup base where we can come back, regroup. We got some metal, we got some uh, meat and stuff here, so. And we'll leave our um, Mo Shops in a soul ball up here. 
So we'll have something to help defend us as we need. So yeah, we'll be back shortly once uh, the Dodie's up and ready and we will take off. All right. Mrs. Dodie is up, level 142. Uh, like I said, not the greatest level, but she will gather a epic butt ton of stone for us. Um, let's take the text ego. So this drops off, so we would have to jump. I don't know if I want to go like do that. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to work our way down and around and come out. Uh, are we on our rider? Applies heavy, applies slow, and this, yeah, this is where we want to be. Now, I don't know if this actually works on the raptors and their, on their um, dismountability, but we are going to assume it does and hope it does. Actually, what we should do, um, behavior, uh, we want you on neutral. So if something attacks us, you get all over it. All right. So this little hut didn't last all that long. Oh, look what we got right there. Level 40 Ravager. They will cause major bleed. But I only see one. I'm not worried. Oh, Raptor Claws. I'd love to be able to go in. Well, he's going to go down and start a fight down there anyway. See that Stego's got the Nashed ability? So it's a bleed. Okay, let's get that off our head. Okay, so I will uh, bring you back when something exciting happens, because this is going to be a slow ride down. And, uh, yeah, something exciting, or we get into some major danger. So we'll see you then. So as you can see, we haven't got all that far. Right up there is where our base was. This thing ain't made for speed, but there's not much that's going to be able to... Oh, I guess we get to test it. Got a raptor here. Let's see if his little pounce attack can knock me off. You can see the water down there. So we're heading along this ridge down towards the blue zone. All right, Mr. Raptor, come here. So this thing has an impale mode. Oh, you pounced me but couldn't do anything. Haha, <laughs> little prick. And it actually slows them too. So here, I'll bring up my thing to show you. When it knocks it back, see it's slowed. So it keeps it at a distance, which is really good. Uh, the I see the Stego fighting something up here. Shouldn't be any issue of ours unless it's uh, something really bad. So we found an explorer note, so we're just just getting our stego here leveled up. So yeah, we're going to follow this ridge, work our way down, and we'll follow the river to the entrance of the blue zone where the water, really, that little itty bitty lip is going to hold you back. Entrance of the blue zone where the waterfall goes over the edge, if you've ever seen aberration um yeah so i will bring you there again oh <laughs> things fall falling from the top did you see that looks like we got a pack of ravagers oh, oh jesus is it dead that stego just killed that thing that is a basilisk what level was it good job mr stego What level are you, Basilisk? Uh, it doesn't say. Well, will take the scales. Uh, we might as well get the meat, too. See these things? So that's the beginner zone right there. <laughs> I don't know who decided that uh, one of the most powerful... Well, yeah, I guess one of the most powerful dinos in this this arc should be right by the starter zone. There is there is worse things in the dark. 
on aberration. But free meat is free meat. All right, let's make our way down. Thought I just heard something. All right, we'll make our way down. Let's check on that uh, roll rat that fell from the sky. Let's get a different plate going. So yeah, um, the hardened plates will help you gather wood. The heavy is for thatch. And then the sharpened uh, is for berries. So they have three different plates for three different types of resources. Which is kind of nice. Kind of a multitasking dino. Uh, the only thing is I wish it was a little bit faster. Okay, what do we got here? Level 5, level 60, level 10. Ugh. So yeah, that was what fell from the, the ceiling there. Alright, so we're going to continue along this ridge. We will jump down at the end, probably get eaten by ravagers, but I will show you that when we get back. Okay, so we were talking about threats earlier. As you see down below us, we've got Carcanos, Spino, uh, Roll Rat, not really a threat, Sarcos. So the rivers around here are super, super dangerous. So we're just going to keep working our way around as best we can. We might have to jump down into a little bit more dangerous areas, but I'm trying my best to stay to the, the tops here. I can't remember if there's a way around here. I'm hoping there is. Nope. And our inventory is way too full. I um, wonder if I can get up there. If not, we might just have to jump down and work our way. Yeah, there's no way to get up there that I can see. That sucks. This thing's strong, but it's not spino strong. wonder if there's any way they can get across to the other side there. We might have to do some doubling back. We did see another pack of Ravagers. We avoided them. Um, let's just peek over here and see what we can see. Pretty much committed now. I could throw it in a soul ball. Oh, level 50 Spino. Clear these out of the way. What do we got over there? 20. Carcanos fighting together. Um, yeah, it looks like I got to go over here and then up and around. So where we want to go is down at the end of that. Okay, so we're going to make our way around there. And I will bring you back when we get, we get over there. Oh, we got some reactors. So I don't think we've shown you these things. So these are plant species Z. This little thing that sticks out here, it actually heals your dino. You can see the health is going up. So if you've got a badly injured dino, you just stand by it for a while. And it also will spit out the uh, kibble for glow pets. The, I think it is the Z, the Z seeds. So we'll wait here for a second until it spits one out. Oh, here we go. And poof, seed comes out. And pick it up. Plant species Z. So yeah, that's the... Is there a drop down there? That's probably why it's blowing blue like that. That is the kibble for bulb dogs, shine horn, uh, and glow tails. And what's the other one? Bulb dogs, shine horn, glow tails. I can't think of it, but there is a, there is another one. Anyway, we're going to ignore this thing unless it decides it wants to come and play with us. We're going to follow our ridge around and get to our future home. Okay, so I think we're as far as we can go on this side without doing some major backtracking. So we're going to drop down here. There is one Spino here. Oh, there's two. Uh, both females. Oh, male and a female. 
not too worried about it. If we can separate them, we can uh, maybe pick them off one by one. I don't have much health. Yeah, I'm not worried about it. So we're just going to make a mad dash across. I dropped most of my heavy stuff off. Are we in the hardened plate? Yeah, we want the heavy plate because there is raptors over there. Okay, let's go for it. There is a roll rat and a sarco and a packy. I think we'll be fine. We got our little tank here. And I don't think the sarco can do anything to us in the water. Except push us around, push us towards the wrath or the spinos. Die! Get off me! Come on! One more hit. Oh, he's stuck up underneath me. There we go. Get off me! Come on! Let me go! Let me out of there! Oh, there we go. Okay, so we're just gonna sneak right up here. I think that's a green drop, so that would be very nice. We don't want to play with the Paraceratherium. We did that last episode. Alright, final leg of our journey. So you see this little cave entrance here in front of us. Um, that's where we're going to get set up, right on a ledge beside it. And that's where we're going to set up our, our forward green zone base, I guess to call it. Because we'll probably set one up down in the blue zone. But this is where we're going to get set up. We'll get some Ravagers. We'll get some... Uh, we'll get an Anki. We'll have to go down to the blue zone to get an Anki. But we'll get some of our beginner teams up here. And then we'll work our way down into the harder areas. So if you look on the map... That black dot's where the Ravagers were... So we've come a long way, and the river splits back there. Um, so yeah, this is where we're going to get set up. So let's get up to our little ridge that I want to set up on, and we will uh, probably call it an episode there. And then in the next episode, we'll spend a whole bunch of time gathering stone, gathering wood and thatch, build ourselves uh, a good starter, or a good platform for a, a good base. And then we will continue to uh, evolve it over time. i seen a pack of raptors. Yeah, they're down there. I'm not going to worry about them right now. Uh, the reason I want to get set up here is because just over here is a location to go out onto the um, surface. It's not one of the, it's not the best location, but it is a it is a spot where we can go get uh, surface drops, which we will be doing once we get a. Um, once we get a rock drake and there is gas close by for when we need it there's crystal uh, there's everything around here so this is a not a bad little not a bad little spot to start it is a little bit more dangerous due to the um, the raptors and things around I don't think I've ever seen a, a rock drake come this far up but I have been surprised before so while we're walking we're just going to start clearing stuff out of the way I'll probably incorporate this thing into the center of our base so that we can put our dinos around it when we're needing them to be healed so it'll help us speed heal but yeah I think this is where we're going to get set up so these are those red mushrooms I was talking about in the last episode that you do not want to step on the ones with the little cones, I think I killed them all. The ones with the little cones are the one that uh, they will make you puke. So while we've been walking, I've been slowly breaking down all of our food into, or all of our raw meat into spoiled. So let's get, um, we'll start with, oh, we need foundations. Uh, we're going to need some. We'll grab some stone here. Okay. So we are just going to place it 
and I want to sink it down. Around this little guy. Okay, this is where we're going to start our little hut. We're going to expand around it, but we'll keep our dinos close to this guy. He will give us seeds, and he will keep our dinos topped up. All right, Mr. Stego. Oh, you're getting a little bit overweighted. So, yeah, these guys have huge potential for um, gathering, but they do not have a weight reduction for wood. So it, it makes them a little bit slower than the others. But as you've seen, you run around with a crossbow, you can knock these guys out pretty simple. And it's uh, a lot easier than getting most most of the tames from for wood gatherers. All right, guys, if you like the content, please do me a favor, hit that like button. If you're new here, subscribe. And as always, see you next time, everybody.